morning students today we are going to discuss about pigmentation of oral and para oral region what is pigment pigments are color or coloring agent as all you know our normal mucosa is pale pink to purple or black in color and the color depends upon the melanogenesis and distribution of melanin pigment or keratinization depth of epithelialization and vascularity oral pigmentation uh, may be exogenous or endogenous the color of oral pigmentation can vary depending upon the quantity and depth of uh, or location or the pigment generally the surface shows brown pigmentation and those located deeper are blue or black in color what are endogenous pigmentation when the source uh, of the pigment is from inside the body we can call it as endogenous pigmentation and uh, the endogenous uh, pigments are hemoglobin and this can Uh, cause red or blue pigmentation and hemosiderin pigmentation is brown in color and the melanin pigmentation uh, is also brown or black depending upon the amount of melanin pigment that may depends upon the overproduction or overpopulation of melanin what is exogenous pigmentation when the source of the pigment is from outside the body we can call it as exogenous pigmentation for example uh, amalgam tattoo or uh, graphite tattoo these are traumatic deposition of uh, metals or a heavy ingestion of he ingestion of heavy metals and colonization of bacteria for example hair retention let's move on to the exogenous pigmentations one exogenous uh, pigmentation is amalgam tattoo uh, when small pieces of amalgam can break off impregnate into the gingival or oral tissues during filling or during removal of filling or during extraction then we can call then we can uh, cause this type of pigmentation and this is known as amalgam tattoo and the uh, these lesions are macular these lesions are macular and gray or black in color another type of pigmentation is uh, exogenous pigmentation is graphite tattoo which resembles amalgam tattoo also and occurs due to the implantation of lead pencil and the lesions are also macular and gray or black in color another type of uh, exogenous pigmentation is tattooing here you can see the tattooing which are the localized pigment to the dermis uh, this can be red or blue in color and next another type of exogenous pigmentation is hyperkeratinemia this can occur Uh, uh, on the dermis or or over the oral mucosa uh, this is mainly from food or drug here you can see in the palms you can see uh, the color variation next pigmentation related to heavy metal ingestion heavy metals such as lead bismuth mercury etc can cause a pigmentation uh, on the oral mucosa and the uh, lead deposition uh, seen on the gum margin as blue or black pigment and this uh, pigmentation is also known as plumbism here this um, pigments are deposited on the free gingival margin as eye liner application this much um, Uh, pigmentation is also blue black in color along the gingival margin without any symptoms and the mercury uh, pigmentation is very rare um, and this mercury pigmentation is also known as pink disease swift disease or acrodynia um, or uh, 
you all studied in uh, the mercury poison you all studied the mercury poisoning in the previous chapter so i'm not going deep into this this is also uh, due to the accidental implantation of mercury from thermometer this is uh, one of the potential occupational hazard for dentist and dental team mostly uh, arising uh, from improper use of uh, the amalgam alloy and these all are iatrogenic inflammation or occupational hazards Another type of exogenous pigmentation is hairy tongue and this hairy tongue is usually seen on the dorsum uh, of the tongue. Here you can see the colonization of bacteria on the dorsum of the tongue. These are chromogenic bacteria. That they can uh, produce different type of colors that are uh, green, brown or black color. And this um, sometimes this may be because of um, change in the oral flora due to any antibiotic therapy. Sometimes it may be due to food drinks such as coffee or tea and smoking. And for this condition, the treatment is scraping, scraping of the dosum of the tongue and limit ingestion of coloring food. Or advise uh, brush the tongue uh, and uh, keep it clean. And move on to the endogenous pigmentation. These are the pigments derived from hemoglobin. We can uh, classify it as hemosiderine pigmentation, hematin pigmentation, and bilirubin pigmentation. Hemosiderine pigmentation can cause brown uh, discoloration or brown pigments. And this is because of the uh, excess storage of iron in the cells. This may be localized or generalized. The localized hemosiderin deposition is because of, uh, see, these are seen in the areas of hemorrhage because of tissue injury or hemorrhagic impacts. And the hemoglobin breakdown can cause uh, or show different color changes. These are red blue color because of RBC in the tissue, green color due to bilirubin uh, and yellow pigmentation is due to bilirubin, brown black pigmentation is due to hemosiderin. Generalized hemosiderin pigmentation is seen due to the overload of iron, excess iron in our body. This is seen in conditions whenever there is increase in the RBC so that there is excess iron uh, absorption or excess iron in the diet or therapeutic iron supplementation or following multiple blood transfusions. The excess iron may get stored in liver, pancreas, heart and endocrine organs. This can cause pigmentation. Next is hematin pigmentation. This may appear as bluish black in color. This is also derived from heme by oxidation of ferrous to ferric form. And these are found in macrophages of liver and spleen. Next endogenous pigmentation is bilirubin. Bilirubin pigmentation is uh, due to the um, pigment from heme component when, after the removal of iron. And this color, this appears as green color usually seen um, on the teeth due to hyperbilirubinemia as green color. And there are lots of classification um, based on the pigmentation. Here I choose two important classifications uh, which are easy to follow. One is Burkitt's classification and this depends upon the uh, color of the uh, lesion. We can classify it as blue purple vascular lesion. These are hemangioma, varix, angiosarcoma, carposis sarcoma hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia and brown melanotic lesions are epis and oral melanotic macule, nevocellular and blue nevus, malignant melanoma, drug-induced melanosis, physiologic pigmentation, affiliate pigmentation, smokers melanosis, pigmented lichen planus, endocrinopathic pigmentations, HIV oral melanosis. 
brown heme associated lesions are ecchymosis, petechi, hemochromatosis. And gray black pigmentations are amalgam tattoo, graphite tattoo, hairy tongue pigmentations related to KV metal ingestion. Another classification is uh, in the, by the Canadian Dental Association. And this is mainly based upon uh, the distribution of the pigment. We can classify it as diffuse and bilateral uh, and focal uh, pigmented lesions. Diffuse and bilateral pigmented lesions again classified as uh, early onset and predominantly adult onset. Early onset lesions are physiologic pigmentation, Peutz Jäger syndrome. Predominantly adult onset are again classified as with systemic signs and symptoms, without systemic signs and symptoms. With systemic signs and symptoms are adhesions disease, heavy metal pigmentation, caposis are common. And without symptoms are drug-induced pigmentation, post-inflammatory pigmentation, smokers murder. Focal pigmentations again can be classified as red-purple uh, pigmentation, blue-gray pigmentation, and brown pigmentation. These are classified according to the color. And red-blue-purple lesions can again be classified as blanching and non-blanching. Blanching are hemangioma and varix, non-blanching are thrombus and hematoma. Blue-gray pigmentations are amalgam tattoo, other foreign body tattoos, and blue nevus. Brown pigmentations are melanotic macule, pigmented nevus, melanoacanthoma, and melanoma. We will continue the pigmented lesions um, in the next session. Now, thank you. Thank you all for listening.